Pilots, you showed up. You're here. I didn't think you were going to come today. Or that I was going to post a video today or whatever. I just thought I'd throw, throw a couple matches down. This is the account I've been using for the videos. Let's take a quick look at what we got here. Wasps level 10 across the board on this beast. And it is still level 1. So this could be considered a ceiling, I suppose. If I upgrade darn near anything on this, it goes to the next tier. Um, I'm, I'm trying to really get a good fine feel for where these lines are between the levels. And I'm going to try and give you a recipe to use. So for right now, we got all blue, mo I'd say blue across the board, unless you want sights of the ramrod and purple. And then in which case, just go with the green drop. I don't know where the math works out on that, but it's got to sort of equal out a little bit to uh, almost all blue. Uh, there's people out there that know the math and could do it probably in their head, so I don't, don't want to, not gonna. <laughs> this one here has got uh, all blue except for the green, and these are the weapons. So these are two robots you can build that will put you really close to that ceiling, and then just keep everything else to the side of it. I'm trying to find out if this, with all eight level weapons on it, and uh, mostly purple, I could do the upgrade to the purple drop pod, but it's like 550 gold. I don't feel like spending it on that, so if you want to try it, uh, knock yourself out. This has got the uh, green modules, which are, uh, I call them silver sometimes because they cost silver. So if I say silver, I mean green. <laughs> Plus, I'm red, green, and colorblind, so if that's brown, I wouldn't know it. Anyway, um, this has just got level 5, and if I upgrade any of these, it's over. And recognize that every one of these robots is level 1, except for the Yamabushi because I want to build a Yamabushi ceiling bot. And I think I upgraded this one into what would be considered level or tier number one. The one that this is playing in right now is level or tier number zero. Um, this is, I've kind of recently discovered where this is by upgrading the weapons on this robot to the recipe for the tier one ceiling robot. And in the process of doing that, I got to a certain point, and all of a sudden the matches got harder. So I started looking around about it, and I did a couple of videos, and you might have watched those. They were posted a couple of days ago about what level am I really in. And I posted two matches, and both of those matches showed the same account um, where this robot had been upgraded, and then this robot had been re-downgraded. And you can tell the difference between the difficulty in those two matches. So I know pretty close that... This right here, this recipe right here, will get you really close to that ceiling. And this recipe will get you really close to that ceiling. And this recipe, once I get done, I will let you know. It may, once I get all these upgraded to level 8, go over. Also, if I upgrade that uh, last blue module to purple, it adds power. So that could add and bump me above into the next tier. Uh, let me get as close to the line as I can. The thing is, is that as long as... As long as the robots are level 1, you can always downgrade the weapons on it to get back to a previous tier. And this is why I keep harping on the idea, don't upgrade your robots. Especially this one, or anything equivalent to that, which would also be the Bison. They're fairly equivalent, except this is a, this is a tank bot, and I think they accrue more power. Um, I don't, I, I don't, I've read the details, but I don't remember what they are exactly, so I don't really want to say. This is only level 6, because I was shooting to find that recipe for... Where is it in the mix? So as soon as I get this watcher as close as I can, but not over, I'm going to start running this one up by improving its weapons to get it right next to the watcher and maybe even slightly above the watcher and then do a match and see if I'm over or not. So that's kind of how I'm playing this game right now. And it's why I haven't really posted a lot of videos because I don't have the information I'm looking for yet. I uh, finally bought a, a drone for this. You might have noticed that in a previous video. Um seems to me like I was going to put spectrums across the board on this, but I like shotguns because especially level 1 shotguns even just do a lot of damage. So level 9 shotguns do an immense amount of damage. And throwing that laser up top just kind of helps finish things off. Plus it's long range, so spectrum's 550. So it reaches out and gets things, and it shows me what I've got a line on. I move in a little bit, the shotguns kick in and start doing some damage. And the shotguns never really run out of ammo. They take one extra second when they run out to reload and start firing. So nothing worth the value on this. Also, I don't recommend this build unless you put purple ramrods on it and you get really close to your target. 
apparently if you got purple ramrod and uh, these weapons they do do some nice damage because they don't take any time to get to the target when they're that close so I don't like them they fire too slow they're dumb um, the only missiles I really like anymore are the hounds or not the hounds sorry um, wasps and hornet so you're gonna see something real interesting here in a second so this right here is kind of a sleeper robot it's interesting how low down in the list this is power wise and I think it's just because it lacks so much in weapons but this also used to be a robot that they would give you just for renting it for like 21 days you rent it for a hundred thousand per day or something you could use it five times in a day if you didn't use it in a match it didn't count against your five and at the end of 21 days of renting it you had to actually actively rent it every day uh, if you're upgrading a lot of stuff uh, it'd screw you up because you wouldn't have your 100 100k to do it so you'd have to wait a day or something uh, but at the end, they'd give you one of these, or they would give you one of the hoplites, and that's why this one looks a little different. No, this is the new one, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but it does rate really low, but the Sonobi down here, which needs a drone, um, I'm, I'm not going to put one on it, because the only time I'm ever going to use this is if I'm playing in level 2 with a team, and my team's going to be so focused on... You know, everybody's going to be so focused on my team, they're not going to be so worried about me because my teammates are always floating around in bushies, and who doesn't pay attention to that, right? Sometimes you can't help but not. <laughs> anyway, so this is the newest robot. just came out of the meat grinder, robot grinder, whatever you want to call it. Down here we got the Mantis, which is all purple, and we threw some level 9 Phantoms on there. So it, at the higher levels, it's pretty worthless, but if I'm playing in tier 0... I'll drop in this and just see how long I last. Sometimes I make it the whole time, or if it's a big map, these reach out to like 720 meters. So, all right, that's what we got going on here. I'm still working on this recipe, but I think you can safely build this robot and just don't let anything get to the to the left of it, and you're good. Or you can safely build this one, and we're gonna find out about that one. So let's see what we got going on on the matches tonight. Um, I've got all these accounts now, and even though I've played with people that I always play with on these accounts. They didn't think to friend those accounts so as i'm rolling through my accounts i just every time i do everything on one account i log out and log into the next numerical higher one so after this one which is my number five account i'll open up my number one account again and just see if anything needs done um so kind of every time i get done playing so what was i talking about using long range here that would work good let's try it where's that I'll use the Mantis first. I need to um, favorite all my, my robots. And every time I change my names around, I uh, <clears throat> was on my prior settings. Because that's what happens when you clear your data. So you say I can reach this guy already. I forget. It's like 760 or 780 or 7 something. But I can generally outrange most people without too much trouble. The problem with these is they don't have a lot of shots and each shot doesn't do an insane amount of damage. They are pretty high level though. I think they're like level 10 or something I can catch it. You can easily rewind and figure out what they were, but I cannot because I'm busy playing. I'll figure it out when I'm rewatching. And I also noticed that sometimes editor me interrupts recording me and I think that's rude because if he's saying things that I have no ability to respond to, that's just, you know, difficult to deal with sometimes when you're a robot. <clears throat> that dude looks like he's sped up. You see little flames coming out of his ass right there? That means he's sped up. And if he's sped up, that means he's a human. And if he's a human, whenever I shoot at him, he should shoot back. <laughs> it's not a hard standard rule, especially way down here in the guppy pond where people don't really know how to play yet. So, I've got some big badass robots on this account, and I'm going to make sort of a rule for myself that in this particular level, in, in level zero, I can't use any robot that's bigger than, um, say, a paladin. Um, if I'm losing, I might drop in in the, uh, in the, oh, why can't I remember names of robots, man? in because I can be sneaky in it and get around and do all that good stuff. Why am I sitting right here when I don't need to be capturing that? Who's over here? And why are they shooting at me? Because I'm not paying any attention. Don't know what's going on. I can't play this game worth a pile of poop. 
I don't know if you can hear my music or not. I, oh, that was pretty cool. As soon as I ran into that dude, it just totally blew up. What should we take next? These are all uh, wasp. You want to float? Yeah, let's float around in this for a minute. You can see how it works. The key to this one is, is that you can be invisible and move, unlike the Yamabushi. But you cannot fire like the Yamabushi. But the cool thing about this one is, most people driving this robot go completely invisible. And watch what happens when he lands. He just a little bunny hop when he lands. I think that's the cutest damn thing ever. So his range is 500 and 315. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I forgot to show you what I put on this, didn't I? Did you see what was on this? I'm going to let it be a surprise. What's on this? I'm not even going to shoot at this guy. Even though it might be a human. Because he doesn't know if he sees something or not. He thinks he might see a ghost. All right, so I gotta get really close to things to be able to shoot them. How far away is this guy's? So, and I've got two jumps, and I forget what that is, like 150, so I think I get 300 meters out of it if I jump twice. How about if I jump once? Let me see. How far did that take me? He figured it out. I don't do math. Also, pay attention to math class, so math comes naturally, and you don't even have to think about it. So, 300 meters isn't much. I'm kind of hoping these two dudes are close together, but they're not. But we're getting there. So I'm staying invisible until I'm within range and can actually shoot at this guy. And then I'm going to come in light. What do you think that is? What do you think that is? <laughs> what do you think it is? State your guesses down below. And I got really lucky by having those guys where they couldn't shoot at me for a minute. While I snagged this flag. And then you jump. And... You shoot, except your target disappears because somebody else shot it. So, good job, somebody else. That's a human. I'm going to do what I can to leave him alone. Let's go down here and see what kind of damage we can do. And I should be invisible. Somebody should tell me that. Like, maybe that editor guy could chirp in here and say, Dude, you should have been invisible, man. He probably did. And I feel like a fool now. So, here we go. Uh, nope. Didn't get there in time. But that's okay because we're just farting around here, right? Anyway, this is a really difficult bot to drive because, as you can see, you can do this. See how I did all that? It gets very complicated, but this guy can't see me now. But if he... Sometimes AI can see you, and I don't know how that works exactly, but... Anyway, that one was pretty good. You get the hang of it, and after you do it about a thousand times, you get really good at it. And then you can just do it, and you don't think about it, and it just sort of happens, and you're like, wow, that was really cool. That's how learning works, in case you weren't sure about that. I've always wanted to get up there. I wonder if I could do it on this now. Let's try it. So I gotta go like this, and then like this. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, there's people that know probably how to go from other mesas to this one, because they've done it a lot. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But with this, you can get into really high places, because it can double jump. See how far I can go here. You saw me do another one earlier, so it's nothing but a big thing. All right, I'm gonna target this guy. We're just gonna see how close I can get. And then, oh, I meant to hit that. And then that again. So. I didn't really want to kill him. So it's actually a good bot for me to roll around in because towards the end, I don't, I don't take on the last guy. I just let him fight it out with my team. I'm trying to be honorable about things. And I brought this in kind of to show you more than when. But. Anyway, I think all I'm really trying to do with these videos is point out to you guys that it doesn't take a whole lot to build an account that can be really competitive in this bottom arena. While you hang out here and play good games and win most of those games so that... So that when um, you move into the next level, you've actually got robots you can use. I go into the next level and I see so many people rolling in just nothing, nothing burgers. Or, or you'll see people that know how to do what I'm doing and they'll, you know, throw a bunch of these because they took the time to go ahead and build some of this stuff while they're down at the bottom and learn how to drive it. That's the other nice thing about being down here is that you learn how to drive this stuff while it doesn't, you don't have to focus so much on the fight because... It's easier. If you were at the next level up, you'd be focused so hard on winning the fight 
or staying alive or whatever against robots like these, you know, or better. <laughs> um, you see a lot of this stuff in the next tier. It's really hard for the guys at the top to get down to this tier, but I was actually playing in this account earlier today and saw somebody in the Yamabushi, and they had dropped in. And that's the kind of thing that really annoys me. And I've done it too in the past. I'm, I'm as guilty of it as anybody. But at this point, I'm starting to feel guilty about taking any robot bigger than a Paladin. You know, just the free robots that you get. And for years, I've sort of played down here because I like a challenge, but I don't like the challenge of level four. You know, I just kind of like the simple way we play down here and the simple bots we use. So I think in tier zero, nothing bigger than a Paladin should be anything anybody brings down here. If you're rolling around in a Yamabushi, you better have just bought it for money and you're still no good at driving it. Because as soon as I see you, I'm going to come in with my Yamabushi and knock you out. And you'll probably come back in something weak and I'm sitting there with the Yamabushi. But I'm not going to be like the sheriff or anything. But I am going to start trying my darndest to watch what's going on in matches. Know who the humans are. Know where everybody is. Try and, I don't know, pick up more of a management sort of a mindset while I'm playing for better tactics. To see who needs help, who doesn't. You know, where the forces are gathered, where they aren't. That kind of stuff. Just uh, focus more on what's going on in the whole match rather than just the fight I happen to be in. Getting damage. And I'm going to try and play a little more tactically. But I'm not going to come into this... In fact, I'm going to go through because I didn't star any of these, so let's do it right now. And the one thing I want to be sure that I'm doing is that I'm checking all the ones that are the Tier 1 robots I plan on taking in. Um, the Mantis. So I don't have to scroll around looking for them. What do I got? Five. I don't really have another good one. So I'm going to put this one in as because it's really the, the weakest. Of, I mean... I would say that one's stronger, just because it has better abilities than this one. This one only stays invisible for so long, then you better find some cover, and you're visible for so long before you can go invisible again, so um, I'm going to let the... Actually, wait a minute. No. Tell you what. We're going to make that the fifth one, so I'm going to follow my own rule here, and I'll have to look for that if I need it for anything. And I'll try not to take anything but these basic robots. What do we got? I should have more than that. How am I missing one? Uh, something didn't get checked. Oh, I didn't hit this. If I hit that, then we're good. Okay, so I got five pilots, five robots. And if it comes down to it, I got the other ones I can use if I need to, but I'll try not to. And what I do is when, um, when I enter a squad, and I know we're going to be playing at level two or three, or this is in zero, when I know we're going to be playing in level one or two, because that's where most of the people I squad with are, um, I'll swap these out for... I just come way down here, and I'll throw those on there, and I'll throw, what was I putting on here, a couple of ghosts, and, and this is where I end up. So, let's throw down a match here and see if you can see the difference, and then we'll call it a night. I don't know if you can hear the music. I got a thing around my neck that's a set of speakers. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit because we got a good Guns N' Roses tune going. And I'll find out when I listen to it in a minute whether it's any good. And I'm just going to drop in this because that way you get to see how to work it. I was also thinking um, Tinkwink of the Killer Ghost Clan. Uh, he's been immensely helpful to me. Uh, most of the times I've ever said anything about so-and-so said, you know, somebody told me this or somebody told me that or whatever. Um, but I didn't divulge that information, which now you got to go back and find it to connect it, connect the dots. But um, um, it's not for lack of wanting to give him credit for any of that. It's just uh, I, don't, I sometimes don't know what people once said about them, so I just don't. But he's given all kinds of great advice to me, and he's actually posted a video, I wish he'd post some more of him driving one of these you know, just, if you know you're coming in in one man, just uh, me watching videos will help me be able to do it, I just if I watch it, I learn, because my thumbs are in my own mind doing what needs to be done but you gotta zip in and you're torching things while you're still invisible for a second and as soon as you come visible again you zap off 
and leave them burning. And generally speaking, they seem to erupt after you've left. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty intense how it works. So I'm not gonna play much, but um, see if we can see. Yeah, you see that Legionnaire right there? I know it looks like it might be a, a potential pilot. And I guess it might be, but. Um, that was a patrol there. We got a Titan in front of me. So you see how I'm in a different level now? This is actually level one right here. The level I'm currently in when I downgrade this robot is what I would call level zero. And then the level that you zip into in the game, as soon as you, as soon as you enter the game, the level you come in at, I should go towards this guy because I think it's an AI. I'm pretty sure it's an AI. And that was quite worth it, huh? Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. Editor meal, fill it in if it was important. Anyway, um, total props to uh, Tinkwink for helping me figure all this stuff out. And he was really instrumental in me finding this you know, level zero thing, because we were arguing about it. He's like, no, no, this is, and I believe that what he was telling me was totally true. It's just that I didn't believe him because, um, I was supposed to use the torch. Watch this. There we go. I don't know if I shot through the wall or not, but there we go. See how fast that works? Plus you get splash damage. Anybody around that person is going to take some too. Anyway, thanks much to you, bro, because I um, couldn't have done it without your input with regard to watching those two videos I posted and seeing what the heck I was talking about because I started thinking I was kind of crazy. All right, now, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and zip in and torch all the AI that's stuck. Oh, these guys are real people. So, real person, probably real person, Sprocket, yeah, I think he was real, Sprocket, um, Anyway, I'm just mostly being mean at this point, because even at this level, this is more robot than one should be driving around. And normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm doing a video, and so if you happen to get killed by me in this video, I apologize. If you're watching the video, you could throw me a thumbs down for having, you know, torched you like I have. Because it's very rude of me to do, but, you know, I'm doing a video, and if I don't torch people in the video, people don't like that. So, you gotta do it. It's just a gotta do kind of thing. Anyway, guys, I know it always works out that the good Metallica song comes on right as you got to get out of the car, and as would be the case, we're getting out of the robot at this point, and there's a good Metallica song coming on, so I'm going to stay in the robot and listen to it, but I'm kicking all y'all out now, and I'm going to post this, because somehow it ended up still being over 20 stinking minutes. I'm going to cut out some stuff, though, that where I'm not talking, and so if you see edits, it'll all be good. Anyway, let's see what we got for stats here. Man, eh, half a mil. So still, this, this still looks level zero, doesn't it? It does. And that's why I was confused and why I've posted so many videos lately saying, what the hell is going on here? But you can see the difference. The previous one, the bison, was the only three-star bot I saw. Everything else was like two-star stuff. So um, I just don't think that it's fair to bring in these big robots in level zero. Level one, it's still rude. Level two, that's reasonable. So I'm going to try real hard not to bring these bots in on these two levels. And I'm going to even in squad, I'm going to try and bring in something smaller and just try and play fair. Because it's getting out of whack with how bad we beat people sometimes. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, number love for y'all. See you at the beacon. Robot out.